Sean's here. What's, what's, what's he doing here? Why was it important for you to come today? Oh, man, I'm just here trying to get better, man. It's, uh, we're getting closer to the season, so I'm just here working with my house. I'm not married to Kate. Um, you know, trying to bring the team together as we can. We've got a young, a lot of young pieces here. So I just want to make sure that they know the importance of we're building a championship team. We don't have time to correct things. We got to hit it full speed. So I'm happy to be here so I can, you know, push the young guys. But, you know, I'm just here to get better for myself and better for this team. feel weird being literally the only veteran out there? Oh, no. Nah. Um, I'm growing into it. You know, I'm here trying to get better. So I'm just working on my football technique and, you know, being able to be here with the young guys and, you know, have them see me, you know, see what it looked like to work and work hard and, you know, the standard, you know, I, that's all good. So I'm happy that I'm able to be here and set the example and, you know, keep it pushing. For Sean, you've made big jumps every year. What do you got your sights set on this year? Uh, number one's a ring, you know, personal goals I don't like to really talk about, but my number one thing is getting us to that division championship, winning and going to the Super Bowl. That, that's the number one thing. We've been there three years in a row. We got all the pieces. It's just about, you know, putting it all together. You performed so well in that playoff game. Do you see that as kind of momentum you can build off or is it motivation because of the way the game ended? How do you look back on that? Uh, more motivation than anything, man. Like I said, uh, Going to the playoffs three years in a row and, you know, coming off short, um, and especially last year where I felt like, you know, we could have went all the way and won, um, you know, that hurt. But, you know, that just gave me more motivation to go back and, you know, pick my game apart so I'll come back a better player for this team. I know you don't like to talk about personal goals, but a year ago we are talking about you as a guy that, you know, he, he might emerge third season, you know, see what happens, and then obviously you did. Does it feel pretty different? A, a year ago to now from where you're at in your career? Uh, I'm just growing, man. I'm taking it day by day, staying in the moment. And that's just me making sure I'm getting the best out of Rashawn Gary, you know, from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep. So just studying and putting in the work. What do you think you're capable of this season? Whatever I want, man. Just, you know, my abilities and, you know, just the season, how the, how the scheme is. Just however I want it to be, it's going to be. I just got to work hard for it. Rashawn, what did you talk to the young players about today while you were out there? What are you seeing from them, and what do you think that they need to do in order to be ready come training camp? Just the standard um, and everything that we do as a Green Bay Packer, you got to realize we wear this helmet for the players to perform us. It's a historical organization, and I want the players to know that because I had to grow respect and do my history on Green Bay. And I feel like the more history and the more you dig into it, the more that you got respect for this team and the organization, the harder that you'll play for them. So that's just my number one thing, man. We're here to bring, a, bring a win the championship team. We've been there three years in a row playoffs. we right there. It's something that we missing, so we all got to come together. And that's just what I'm focusing and pushing everybody to make sure they won the 11th. Go back, study your film. If your coach saying your step is too wide, tighten down your step. If your hands too wide, tighten your hands. You know, just small things. Making sure you're going back, doing stuff in inventory, so we can come back and be better as a defense and be better as a team. Were you aware coming here that you were going to be one of the only veterans, if not the only veteran, in the house today? Oh uh, yeah, it's OTAs. You know who here and who's not. You know. Who were the players who kind of taught you that standard your rookie year when you came in as a rookie? Who were kind of the players that? You got Mercedes Lewis, we had Devontae Adams, you got 12. Um, at the time I came, we had Zaria Smith, Preston. So you got a lot of great examples, man, with this organization. That's one great thing that I keep thanking the organization for, just having great players in here so you can know what to do. You know, if you want to be a good player, this is what you look up to. You know, you want to last longer in the league, this is who you look up to. And we have examples of everybody, you know, that high level, low level guys on the way up. So, you know, it's a great locker room to have with a lot of energies and, you know, you get to learn from everybody. We spent a lot of time this offseason talking about this new look defensive line. Kenny says the best defensive line that since he's been here in 16. What does that do for you as an edge guy? I mean, how excited are you for what, what you know, how you might be able to live with that interior? Yeah, it just makes me hungry, man. Uh, of course, you know, when I seen we signed Jerry Reed, it was, you know, a big smile on my face. But, you know, just knowing our abilities and just knowing our capabilities as a unit and, you know, this flash is going through mandatory minicamp and some of the OTAs that we had a chance to, you know, rush together is, is going to be scary. So once we get our communication down and we all on the same page, it's going to be a good. Does that change anything about the way you rush when you've got maybe more on the inside that you can kind of build off of if you don't run? Um, not really, because when it comes to pass rush, you know, I got to know what the inside guy's doing anyway. So it just, you know, knowing who I'm rushing with and just learning who they are and they learning who I am so we get, you know, mess up old linemen.